Alright, what's up guys? Simon from Brainvis.com. Uh, today is something pretty basic, but something that uh, you need to know nonetheless when you start working with Arduinos. Uh, we're going to look at how to connect tag switches properly and how to uh, work with them. Uh, today I'm going to show you four different scenarios and what happens with each one. Uh, so without further ado, let's go check that out and we'll be right back to wrap things up. Alright, so let's look at the code we're going to use today. As you're going to see in the setup, I'm using an LED matrix to display 0 or 5, uh, depending on the setup we are going to be using with the tag switch. Uh, so I need the Parola and the Max72 library to uh, communicate with that LED matrix, and the SPI also, which is the way uh, the LED matrix communicates. Then we're defining the hardware type, I'm using this one. Uh, you have these available here. And uh, from what I can tell, if you choose one of these, it will rotate the display 90 degrees each time. So you just uh, experiment with one of these until you find the right orientation. Uh, then the maximum device, I only have one matrix. These are the pins that it uses. And the tag switch is connected to the digital pin on the Arduino 5. Uh, then I start uh, the communication and then we get to the setup. So we begin the matrix. We set the text alignment to the center of the matrix. And here I'm going to change this portion depending on the scenario that we're using. So at the beginning, I'm going to be using just this. So describing the uh, tag switch pin to an input. But down the road, I will change it to an input pull up to actually use the resistors inside the Arduino. So we'll see how that behaves. And then all I do if I read the switch pin is low, I print a zero on the matrix and else if it's high, then I print a five. And that's it. That's all the code we're going to use. So now let's go check out those scenarios and see how they behave with that code. All right, so here's the first way we're going to connect the switch uh, without any resistors or anything at all. So let's look at all the connections and uh, test it out. Alright, so now I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. So there you go, it's showing 0 right now, if I press, oh, it went to 5, so basically it's floating right now, it doesn't really know where it is, even if I move just the wire a little bit, or touch the switch without clicking it, it's actually all over the place, so this is not usable, so now let's look at another way to connect it so it works. All right, so here's our second setup. In this one, let's look at the connections now and see how everything is connected. All right, so now that we know the connections, let me plug it in and see what happens. And there we go, we're not touching the switch. It actually is pulled up by the resistor here to five volts. So it's not moving anymore, even if I press the wire like uh, before. And if I press the switch, it goes to zero. So we're grounding the pin. And when I release, it goes back to five. So this is working just fine. So now let's again look at another setup. All right, so in this scenario, we're going to use the Arduino input pull up resistors that are integrated inside. Uh, so we're back to the same connections that we did in the first place that didn't work because we didn't have any resistors. But now we modified the code to include input pull ups. So now it should work. So let me just plug that in. And there we go, even though we're not pulling up the pin here, it still says five volts because it's being pulled up inside the Arduino. And if I tap the switch, it's fine. And if I click it, it goes to zero and it works perfectly. So that that's mostly the way that you're going to use switches is using the input pull up resistors inside the Arduino. But if you need to pull down the switch for some reason in your project, so let's look at that one now. 
All right, so in this scenario, we're gonna do a pull down of the switch. Uh, you can't do that with the Arduino because it only has pull up resistors, but I believe the Arduino Zero is one that has both pull up and pull down. So let's look at the connections of this one and then test it out. All right, so now we know the connections. Let me plug it in and see what happens. So there you go. The switch is not being pressed. It says zero. Everything is stable. And if I press the switch, it goes to five volts and release. So there you go. If you need a pull down, you need to use a resistor with an Arduino, unless of course you have an Arduino that has pull down resistors as well. So there you go, guys, that'll do it. So let's go back and wrap it up. All right, so that'll do it for today, guys. Hopefully you found this video interesting. Uh, don't forget to visit my website if you want more information. I make web pages uh, with links and you can get a copy of the code and library used and so on and so on. Also, if you like my videos, please uh, like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. So as always, my name is Ivan and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.